Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Toy. I'm playing Octopath Traveler. Last episode we um, started on Alphans Chapter 2 and al we also finished... What's his name again? <laughs> the Cyrus's Chapter 2, there we go. And this episode we're gonna go and, yeah, just continue with Alphans Chapter 2. This is one hell of an upgrade, it's also 34k. Ooh, Sapphire Rod looks pretty dang good. And the mental shield is also pretty dang good, but less evasion, so... Mm. <laughs> Saintly Tiara, Starlight Hat, Heavy Elemental Armor, or Elemental Heavy Armor. Which is... not amazing, actually. Wow. Pathetic. Okay. I do very much want to give this Sapphire Rod to her. To Primrose. To increase her elemental attack to 515. That is a hell of a lot. But she had the... No, she actually had the Crescent thing, so... This is a perfect upgrade for her. Nice. Right, let us continue. Huh? What's this? It's me. Struggling with my eyes. <laughs> there seems to be another commotion. Miss Heisel, come quickly. My husband won't stop coughing. My sympathies. Oh dear. Isn't that a shame? It seems there's a nasty malady going around. That Gabora whooping, uh, whooping cough, it's called. It hails from a land far, far to the south. But worry not. Among my wares is a tonic that will cure it overnight. You don't oh, Miss say. Heisel, I knew we could, we could count on you. Indeed. My word. Even a bottle is simply exquisite. And this will cure him, you say? But of course. It most certainly will. It's brewed from a very special type of moss, you see. One that only grows in a remote and quite treacherous location. Because of the rarity of their key reagent, a reagent, reagent I fear I must charge a substantial fee. <gasps> Body's well, no object to us, we'll pay anything. Well... Spend it. In that case, 100,000 le leaves of file should suffice. What? Oh dear, that... That is substantial. <gasps> Still, my dear my dear daughter's life is at stake. I'll take it. I have no if Lady Heisel uh, made it, I'm sure it's worth every leaf. I'll take two. Goodness. For me as well. I'll spare no cost for the health of my loved ones. Thank you. Pleasure in doing business with you, friends. Oh. Uh, Milady, I fear Flynn has come down with the cough as well. Poor oh, girl, you have my sympathies. I fear that we do not have the coin that the gentry do, but... Here, this is my entire savings. Might you pray sell me a single file? Even just a sip, anything to save my poor Flynn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, miss, but I fear my medicine is in high demand and short supply. I simply cannot let go of it so cheaply. Please, have mercy. My poor Flynn, whatever am I to do? Oh dear. Hmm, I'm almost sold out. Better go stock up some, you know what. Holy. My poor Flynn. Oh, merciful Elfric, pray bring the flame of light to our path. My dearest, ever since I lost you, I've scarce been able to feed and clothe our girls. They have suffered far more than their share. And yet every day they bring me seashells. They tell me to smile. Must I look on helpless as poor Flynn wastes away? Have I failed them once and for all? Oh, God, there still is mercy in this world. Please save her. I pray with all my heart and soul. Criminy. Mind if I drop in for a bit? What? Hmm? Y you're that... <laughs> One scraggly, scruffy-looking apothecary at your service. 
Might, I might not be Miss Heiser, but if you need my help, it's yours. Let me take a look. So how about it? The gods may be all powerful, but a checkup never hurts. <laughs> cough, cough. Multiple coughs. <laughs> This isn't good. She's coughing so hard, she can hardly breathe. How did the rare disease from a far-flung land come to this town anyhow? You said it was Vanessa's medicine that cured your daughter's fever, yes? Oh, yes. It sure did. It worked like a miracle. I don't know. What kind of medicine was it? Uh... What kind? There are still a few drops left. Oh? Let me see it. It's Roma. It must have been brewed from Gabora Evergreen. Hmm. That would make sense. It's a potent it's a potent fever reducer after all. But I remember reading something else about it. What's this now? What was it now? Oh. Wait, here it is. Gabora Evergreen, a flowering plant native to the tropical and subtropical regions of the continent of Gabora, known for its antipyretic properties. A, constitu a constituent compound has been known to cause inflammation and swelling of the throat, inducing severe coughing. The symptoms resemble those of the whoop whooping cough known to plague the land whence it hails. Due to the risk of severe and adverse reactions, use of Gabora Evergreen in any dosage is strongly discouraged. Uh. Yeah, Vanessa, she couldn't have. I'm sorry. But I'm afraid I can't share trade secrets with those in the business. Son of she knew exactly what she was doing. She gave the villagers that medicine for free, knowing full well that when the side effects kicked in. <laughs> but we're not along among my wares, it's a tonic that will cure it overnight. Because of the rarity of the Kiri agent, I fear I must charge a substantial fee. She induced her symptoms on purpose so she could sell her overpriced elixir. Twisted conniving. Hold tight, Flint. A uh, Flint? <laughs> Flynn. <laughs> I'll have you feeling better in no time. Give me two gifs and I'll brew you up just a, th uh, just a thing. Aww. Thank you. Huh? Vanessa said something about a special moss. A moss that can cure coughing? That's it, miss. Have you ever seen a moss around here that glows blue? Mm. Moss? I've never heard of such a thing. But I don't get out of town much. You might try asking around. Here we go. Gotcha, I'll be back. We're just the thing I need to cure Flint's cough for good. You bloody better! <laughs> Ellen, where did you learn such language? <laughs> Teehee. <laughs> Shoot just a tie a and keep playing company, okay? Alright. Inquire. Hello. A caution by trade. He puts the safety of his customers above all else and fears to traverse dangerous regions regardless of the payment offered. Owing to his experience, he knows many a shortcut and back road to finish his destination. Right. Ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba. A haughty aristocrat who leads a life of luxury, to, uh, uh, turning his nose up at all not born into privilege. His elite <laughs> elitist attitudes have in, ter have in turn earned him the ire of the common folk and no few of the no, no few fellow noblemen. Gossip of glowworm moss. All right. So Vanessa set out to the caves of Azure, to the east. Got it. Right. Let's get a move on, shall we? May also once again take a look, just because I am insane and I hate myself. Uh. 
Okay. Alright. Everything is as... Everything is as it should be. I'm gonna save my game. And let us get a move on, shall we? After the freaking bitch. <laughs> Into the road to the caves of Azure. <laughs> One hell of a name, though. Road to the caves of Azure. There's a chest down there. I can see a pathway back there. But first, we're gonna have to deal with enemies. Let's see what you got. Feeling grabby? It's my turn now. Right, let's hit him with some wind. Okay. <laughs> Second serving. Uh, let me go and stun this crab. Here goes nothing. Last stand. <laughs> Perfect. I think if I did a powered up one, I might have actually be able to kill everything, but whatever. Here we Let me go and use. Uh, I guess just attack, really. It's not gonna kill him, but <laughs> whatever. That bum. Electrocute. Don't you love dealing with magic? No, not with that. Arrows? No. Wow. And that's that. Bum, 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 bum. I also need to go and eat. Oh my god, it's pizza. I need to go and eat some pizza. I'll see you guys in a moment. <laughs> Alright. Did I get that chest already? No, I was going towards it, okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, feels good to eat. Always feels so good. <sighs> Hello. You are a big boy. This is what I would call you. Almost, it's not weak against that. Art thou mayhaps weak against Eros? Yes. Excellent. Here goes nothing. Now let's see. Chance of stealing is pretty low still. I'm going hit him at last stand. There we go. Okay. I am ready. And patience, perfect. Pretty high chance. Inspiring plan. Meh. The moonlight waltz. The show is over. There we go. Ba ma 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 da ba da ba 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 Yoink. Heavy coin pipes. Nice. Basically money. Want a tangle, huh? Hello, Rocky boy. Okay. I appreciate it, really. Let's do this. The winds of fortune are howling. I am ready. Hmm. Now let's go and give the lion Alphen a buff in strength. Then hit him with a big old last stand. Which unfortunately didn't kill the ridiculously tough turtle. <laughs> nice try. Who would have expected that, huh? Goodbye, rock tortoise. Where's the nearest tavern? I'm sorry, it's a tortoise, not a turtle. Alright. Let's see. Energizing pomegranate. May I have this dance? <laughs> These birds are probably weak against spears. Britney Spears. I am ready. Um, I have wanted to make that joke. Not a joke. I just wanted to say that for the longest time. Oh, don't mind me. No swords. Oh, yes. 
Unfortunately, I have nobody who can do AoE sword attacks. Evasion, <laughs> oh. baby! It's the best. It is just the best. The best. The best of you. Alright, let's hit him with a fireball. The show is over. I'm going to have a lot of Japanese points. Which is gonna be just perfect. It means I can basically instantly like unlock all the skills of a single job. Huh? Oh boy. Then I can just uh, switch it off. You were caught by surprise. Over My here. favorite moment. Over here. Nice try. <laughs> here I go. Didn't stand a chance. Let me go use a wind stall. A wind stall? A wind soul stone. You like that? Yes, my lady. Right. Let's go and do some steel SP on somebody which isn't really that weak. I'm sorry, we, we still have some health left. Okay, um I guess I can hit him with an arrow stone, sure. See ya. And that's that. Let's see, that is the way forward, which means there is some optional stuff down here. A purifying seat, that is pretty dang good. May I have this dance? My turn. Let's see, what can I do against you guys? Well I could hit him with a wind soul stone. Take this! Or a wind stole. <laughs> as I have I am ready. been calling it accidentally. Here we go. Right. Let's hit him with the dagger. <laughs> Le dagger. It's my turn now. Let's go with last hand. <laughs> nice. Doing a sizable amount of damage. Unfortunately, Tressa doesn't really have a really good way of restoring his fate. But I guess we'll get to that. Once we get some more support skills around, I can fumble. Not fumble? I can fumble a lot more around with everything. It's gonna be quite interesting. Did you need 3,000? Oh, just 1,000. Let's get amputation. Should get resist ailments, which is one that I also quite like. Now she's going to need 3,000, so that's going to take a while. Right. Uh, I think I'm fine. Sarian can heal this SP, so... Alright, here we go. Level 24, Caves of Azure. Meanwhile, dog. 1,140 leaf, nice. How about we save again, huh? There's a purple chest. There's a purple chest. Right there are also buccaneers. I am ready. Hmm. <gasps> I guess we'll go and start analyzing you. Oh, don't mind me. Lightning. Here we go. Access? Ah! No. My turn. Daggers? No. Spears? Yes. Uh, daggers in the back? No. My turn. Axe in the back? Yes. Nope. I am ready. Let me go and do some lightning. See if that works on the back and in the back. Yes. Yeah, boy. Ice stream doing no damage. Wow. Congratulations, you did nothing. Go. Okay. Have I tried swords? Uh, I think I did. And even still, it wouldn't. It wouldn't do anything. 
Right. Patience, patience. Also weak to errors. Mmm. That gives me an idea. Are you drunk? Goodbye. Where's the nearest tavern? Falcon Garb. Let me see there because Falcon Garb is pretty dang decent, but it's not as good as a silent cape, which is the thing that everybody wears. <laughs> Uh, except for, uh, except for Primrose because she needs elemental attack. Elemental attack. Um. Hmm. Yeah. No. She can hold on to that elemental attack. I like this cave actually. <laughs> Looks really cool. Here I come. All right. Daggers. Yes. I am ready. Lightning. Are these enemies called grenade crabs? Did I read that correctly? Let's do this. It's barnacle crab, okay. I said it was grenade crab. The winds of fortune now that would have been a cool enemy name. Grenade crab. Okay. Mayhaps weak against axes also? Yep. It's a really handy thing that I'm starting to notice patterns in uh, enemies, and just like enemy weaknesses. It still isn't flawless though, but it's something. They're not gonna give me anything, right? Well, 13. It's a little bit. There we go. Hmm. Ha 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 ha! Spiked armor, not that good. It's decent, just not that good. Right ah yes, beautiful snails, making Let's the most do. horrific noise. Uh, let me go and hit you with a spear because I'm pretty sure that's what you're weak to. Yep. Out of my way. Guys in the back. Daggers, nope. I am ready. Um. Lightning. Lightning, strike true. Nope. Once again, instead of using the analyze skill. Here we go. Oh, well. This calls for surgery. These guys are probably big against spears. Spears and swords, I think. Yes. No? Yes. No swords. I am ready. Let's go and analyze them. Oh, don't mind me. Fire. Oh, they don't have a physical weakness. Interesting. Here I go. Wind? The winds of fortune are howling. Yep. Interesting. Bring it on. Well, I think they're gonna die all the same time. So. Whatever. The show is over. Once again, getting a lot of alchemist uh, materials, which are perfect. Means I can concoct some more stuff. Um, I guess I'll go to the left. Seems like more of the optional pathway. All right. I appreciate it, really. I do also want to get some uh, SP back. Let me hit a bit of fireball. Fireball, yeah. Barnacle Bat. I like nothing. that name. Uh, let's go and steal SP on you. Don't mind if I do. That did not do that much damage. Well, those guys seem to be re relatively resistant let's to uh, anything physical, so. I'm ready. Bop, 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 bop. I appreciate it, really. Probably should have targeted the other one. <laughs> Welp. That's what I'm talking about. I 
I'm getting a hell of a lot of essence of pomegranate. Which is the best one, really. Really? <laughs> just, that was an optional pathway. Or that was like a, another way to get to this place. Want a tangle, huh? <laughs> Bubbles, baby. Surprise your foe, nice. Here goes nothing. Giving me some time to steal some SP. Don't mind if I do. Not like I need to conserve my items that much, but meh. I appreciate it, really. Alright. What to do? And now I can do uh, last stand. Fatal touch. I am ready. And hit him with some lightning. To stun the guys in the back. As Therion reaches level 40. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not over leveled. You're over leveled. Alright. Ruinous Dust, which is also pretty dang good. I'm gonna run into another encounter, right? I think I'm just gonna bait out the next encounter. Because I don't wanna heal and then have to right reheal. <laughs> Okay, lightning and arrows. Well, <laughs> there we go. I am ready. We go and hit him with some lightning. Lightning, strike two. What? <laughs> um, a last stand, I think. <laughs> Methinks. You got more than you bargained for. Alright, let's go and heal up. With my 70 inspiring plums. Well, they'll be good right now, but once we reach the later point in the game, then the, yeah, it will cost a lot more to restore that stuff. <sighs> now to harvest myself some glowworm moss. Can't keep my well paying patients waiting. Oh, to think this moss would bring me a king's ransom. Who'd have known this job could be so profitable? Howdy, Vanessa. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> so you sniffed out my supply, huh? Well, you're not as stupid as you look. That medicine you gave the townspeople for their fevers was brewed from Gabora Evergreen, wasn't it? <laughs> that was your plan all along. To induce the side effects so you could sell the remedy at a premium. <laughs> you catch on quick. I travel the land selling my potions and salves for more leaves than you'll see in a lifetime. What do lay folk know of illnesses and their cures? Nothing. That's what makes this job so easy. If it weren't for rival apothecaries like you. What happened to your sworn duty to ease suffering? <laughs> Here's some advice, little puppy. Don't trust anything you can get for free. A stately mansion. Lavish dresses, fine wine. Why shouldn't everything I want be mine? You're free to have what you want, but I won't let you deceive the weak and vulnerable to get it. Using your knowledge to inflict pain for profit? You're a disgrace to our profession. Doesn't it make you feel anything to see people suffer? <laughs> Should it? The ailing, the injured, they're tools to an end. Just like the little kittens I test my tonics on. They bring me leaves by the bucket. And when they've outlived their usefulness, they die. Do you cry when you toss away a broken flask? 
Well then, why should I? <laughs> Unfortunately for you, there's no cure for a rotten heart. Oh, so you don't care for my philosophy. Perhaps you'd care to die instead, hmm? My ample wealth has allowed me to secure good insurance. You're a threat to my business, and you don't seem like the type to go home quietly. Or the type to keep your mouth shut, even if you did. You're God's damned right I won't. On the contrary, I'm gonna brew a remedy and help those people. Not for profit, but because easing people's suffering is what I do. How noble. But here's my diagnosis. That shabby sense of justice will prove fatal. <laughs> this should be fun. Here we go. Out of my way. All right. So, what am I gonna do with you? <laughs> Stab you. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, no weakness to daggers, unfortunately. Um. Blah, 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 blah. Let me go and summon a farmer. Help me, oh farmer. Exploit weakness and do no damage. Nice. Hey, thank you for blocking that attack. And then he just runs away because he got punched in the face. So, no weakness against that, huh? Bah, 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 bah. Let me go and get some mercenaries in here. Oh, yes, weakness uh, swords, okay. Ba -na -ba -na -ba -na -ba. Here goes nothing. I presume uh, axes? That's what she's weak against, okay. Ba -da. Ready. Ba -da, ba -da -ba. Darkness? Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Better, but that's what she is weak against yet again. Here goes nothing. Okay, uh, let's see. So I've already tested out that. Ba, ba, ba. I guess I'll go and do some sword attacks against you. Uh, let me go and test out arrows. Yes. Nice. First blind it, which is a uh, pretty dang noise. Concoct poison. I am ready. Uh, let me go and uh, let me go and analyze for more weaknesses for oh, you guys. Don't mind me. Light, okay, which I don't have. <laughs> cool. Let me go and use my. <laughs> I only have one of these. Yeah. Well, there you go. Concoct stimulants, more attack. Okay, well, I'm gonna break you. Bring it on! Break that guy. And let's have ourselves a little bit of fun, shall we? Time to steal the show. There we go. That's one of them done. I am ready. Well, let me go and um, give a, a little bit longer lasting lion dance. Apothecary skills. Let's go for amputation. This guy. Good fight. Okay. Here Vanessa is defenseless. <laughs> Let's see. She's, so she's gonna be at the end of the turn. That's great and good. Patience. Perfect. Patience. Patience. Okay, we can hit her. My turn. So, darkness. Okay, let's go and do armor corrosive in here. You know what? I think I'm gonna wait one more turn, and I'm going to do a lion dance on Alpha and also. This is hopefully gonna be very good. Half and puff. <laughs> Mess. Okay, we're going to Moonlight Waltz. My turn. Okay, we're going to do some Steel of Speed. What to do? Trust I can go and do um, an amputation, I think. 
That's it. Which Alphen is fully powered up. So he can do a big power amputation. Quadruple nine damage. <laughs> Simply uh, sublime. Okay, let me go and give a lion stance to Tressa. Bada 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 Full power! Amputation! See ya, bitch. Didn't even get to do Super Aber's Reckoning. <laughs> well, whatever. Damn it all, I paid good coin for them. And I killed them. <laughs> the game's up. I'll be taking his moss now. And I've alerted the guards. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn yourself in. Alright, they've got me. I repent. I repent. Hmm. Sussed out your escape route already. <laughs> I'm not as naive as I look. Now listen here. I brought a special treat just for you. This isn't good. Wait, that's... Now then. Huh, I had a feeling I'd recognize it. Slumberthorn, the most powerful sleep-inducing substance in the realm. One prick, and the next thing you know, you'll be waking up on a dungeon floor. <laughs> Maybe one day you can start over as a real apothecary. If they ever let you out. You'll pay for this, you stupid, naive... Now then. That'll keep her quiet until the guards come. Now, I'll just help myself to some of this moss. That'll do her. Hold tight, Flynn. I'm on my way. Travel banter. Now then. What do you intend? To, uh, what do you intend to do about that woman, Vanessa? I reckon I'll let her stew in, ga uh, in Gal, and ponder all she's done. Gal or no, she doesn't strike me as the type to turn introspective. Maybe, maybe not, but I figure she's tossing and turning something fierce right about now. What do you mean? See, Slumberthorn has other effects, less well known. It can prick a person's conscience, for example. If there's something in your heart you'd rather avoid, it'll come out in your sleep instead. As a nightmare. That's right, how she'll deal with that when she wakes up is up to her. But I warrant she is having second thoughts about what she did. Well, I hope so. Why, for my sake? Just be careful, alright? Alright, so now we need Ophelia, I think. Let's go and uh, get Ophelia in the party instead of Tress, I suppose. Wait, I was about to say, okay, <laughs> I, I thought, for some reason, I thought that Alberic was level 22. <laughs> no, he's not. Alright. Well, how are you feeling now? Um. Better. Oh my! Her cough, it's gone. And my th uh, wait, 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 my Flynn, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. And my throat, it doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> Good to hear. You saved my daughter's life. I can't even begin to repay you. It's on the house. The moss didn't cost me anything after all. How could I have been so wrong? You were the true apothecary. Pray forgive my rudeness earlier, good sir. <laughs> no skin off of my nose. Your girl's healthy again. That's all that matters to me. Thanks. Thank you, Alfin. Finally, I can go gather seashells with Ellen again. <laughs> go have all the fun you want. Be safe here. And with that, I'd best be off. There are other people out there who need this medicine. And once I've done my job and everyone in Goldshirt is hale and hearty, it'll be time to hit the road again. See ya. Do you meet again? Hey, thanks. Oh, thank you. Thank you ever so much. Now then.
Where out there is someone in need of a fixer-upper? Helping! Oh, Ellen, Flynn. Oh, we were trying to surprise you. You're already looking 100%, ain't you, Flynn? I'm all better now, thanks to you. But what's this? Have you two been rolling around in the dirt all day? <laughs> These are for you. Wowzers, seashells, and scores of them. We found them together, Flynn and me. Thank you for helping us, Elfin. Take care. Okay? Shucks. We found as many as we could. We know you're poor. Is this going to be enough? I reckon it'll keep me fed for a while. You didn't have to. <laughs> poor looks at my money. Mm hmm. Maybe. <laughs> You all take care of your mother now, you hear? He's crying! Alvin's crying! Crinops aren't supposed to cry! <laughs> Even grown-ups need a good cry from time to time. Stay healthy for me, will ya? You too, Alvin. You <laughs> too. Now you're crying too. You were always my hero, an unreachable ideal. But heck, if I ain't getting closer by the day. I still really like Alfin's story also. I like all the stories with Alfin's is also definitely one of my favorites. And so Alfin bid farewell to Goldshore, more convinced than ever of his chosen path. Though his travels had only just begun, one time was already happier for his presence, and so he set forth this, for Saint's Bridge in the Riverlands, eager to see what his journey had in store. <laughs> <laughs> and not hiccups in store. Alright. Let's go near some travel banter. Alfin. Alfin, are you crying? What? N no, of course not. I just... I, I have something in my eye. S sweet, that, that is. My eyes got... Uh, I, sw I sweat. Sweat, that is. My eyes got sweaty and... No, I mean... A bit of dust in my eyes. Both of them. Alfin, there's no shame in showing your emotions. Those little ones adored you after all. You'll be a wonderful father someday. I'm sure of that. F father Now do a look. Uh, now do look after those shells, won't you? Uh, oh, <laughs> right. Ah, oh, shucks, another speck of dust. Oh dear. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love this game. Thank you very much. Alfin, sir, I wish to thank you. Y you do? For what? For healing Flynn. I don't need thanks for that, Ophelia. Using folk suffering is my job. I'm just doing what I came here to do. Only because, uh, only because you are a gentle soul and have made it your job. That's a rare thing in this day and age. Oh, shucks. You kind of set the ants on me now. I beg your pardon? Am I behind? It gets mighty itchy anytime someone starts singing my praises. Uh, how, uh, dreadful. Well, tell me about it. It wouldn't be half as bad if I could just stop scratching. <laughs> I love Alfin. Ugh. You know what? Fuck it. I like my choice of Alfin. I like Alfin. Alright, my friends. That is gonna be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed this episode of just us playing Octopath Traveler. And next episode we're gonna go and deal with... Um, I think we're gonna do Hanet's story next. And then we'll do uh, Olberic's one as the final chapter two. And after that we're gonna go and uh, just once again go around the towns. Exploring some stuff. Methinks. Seeing what I can do. Yeah, well. Goodbye, my friends.